Hello Maverick Traders and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the new simulator trading function in TradingView. So I'm logged into my TradingView account right here and in this video I'm going to go over how we can use the bar replay tool uh, to effectively trade the market on a simulator basis. So the bar replay button is all the way up here. Uh, depending on how your trading view is arranged, you know, it might be a little bit further to the right or further to the left, but what you're looking for is this replay button here. When you click it, it's gonna turn blue and you get this vertical line with scissors. Now you can go back 20,000 price bars, which means that if you're on a daily chart, as, as we are right now, you can go back 20,000 days. And if you're on a four hour chart, you know, you can go back 20,000 bars worth of four hours, et cetera, et cetera. So that is a little bit of a limitation. It means you'll only be able to go back so far on some of these intraday time frame charts like the 15 minute chart. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the vertical line here. Uh, and we're in September, 2021 right now. And this is what the price chart looked like back then. Now we have some options here. Uh, the control buttons for the bar replay feature will be at the bottom here. So we have a play button here, which will basically update um, the market by one bar per second. And you can adjust the speed of that by clicking on replay speed down here. So we can set it as high as 10 updates per second uh, or as low as one update per 10 seconds. Okay, and, and then the next button, which is personally how I navigate the bar replay feature, is this one right here, which simply you click this once and it gives you one new bar, all right? So this allows you to do things, uh, you know, a little bit easier, a little bit more, more at your own pace. And then finally, the simulator trading features are down here. We have a sell button, a buy button, and a flatten. Now, there are some drawbacks to the feature, you know, and I, I have gotten in touch with TradingView to request additional functionality here, but as it stands right now, you can't set stop orders or limit orders. You have to kind of manually track those. You're also stuck with a default position size of a thousand, right? So just something to keep in mind, but that won't affect how you journal the trades in TradeBench, TraderSync, or whatever other trading journal of your choice. So this is, in my opinion, the best practice in terms of how to use this function. Uh, so if you click on your trend line tools right here, you're going to go down and you're gonna see a horizontal array and there's also a keyboard shortcut for that. We're gonna use horizontal rays as just visual markers uh, for where our entry, stop loss, and, and take profits will be. Okay, so uh, let's say you know we have this nice, I'm, I'm gonna pretend that, that I've got a trading plan ready here and we're looking to buy dollar yen to the upside. We got a nice move to new highs, followed by a three bar pullback, followed by this nice bullish engulfing candlestick. So I'm going to enter the market right now. I'm click the blue buy button down here once, and we see that the order has been filled. We bought a thousand at a price level of 111.46. Okay, the next thing is to place a stop. I'm gonna place a stop below these lows here at 109.02. And if I double click on the ray, I can also write in an annotation. So I'm just gonna put in stop loss. Um, and as far as a target goes, why don't we simply target uh, just making this up here, and that this high from December 2016. So we're just gonna drop that horizontal ray once more, and I'm going to write in take profit. All right, so next step, we're going to start moving the bars forward one by one. So I'm gonna be clicking this forward button, letting the trade develop. All right, things are looking good. I'm now gonna look to trail my stop loss off of the next pullback that we get. All right, so I'm gonna now trail my stop loss higher and I'm just gonna trail it below uh, this most recent pullback here at 113.30. All right, so if we breach 113.30, then I know I'm out of the trade. Okay, so we got close and there we go. So we got stopped out uh, at 113.30. You know, so I'm just going to click the flatten position, uh, flatten button here to close the position. And you can see, there you go. So you sold at 113.57. So slightly, um, slight difference, you know, because the, the sell, the sell uh, feature here worked off of the close of this bar. But the cool thing is we can still see by and large, you know, what, what kind of moves we're, we're gonna be capturing using this feature here, all right? And I would then enter into my trading journal know the following parameters. Uh, so 
trade number one, for example, right? Long dollar yen, long at 111.46. And then we would say initial stop loss. Uh, just going back to the initial stop loss, 109.02. Trailing stop triggered at 113.30, let's say. All right. And then you would take these uh, parameters and input them into your trading journal of choice. And there you go. So if we keep going, let's see if there's another opportunity here. Okay, looks like we're trading. Okay, all right, there we go. So this looks like a completed pullback to me. Let's do this all over again. We're going to do another trade. So trade number two, let's go long dollar yen, long at, we're just gonna buy at the market right here. So we bought at 113.90, initial stop loss. We're going to go, let's say the low of this candle right here. So initial stop loss is at 112.68. And we're gonna use the same take profit from earlier at 118.46. Okay, so trade number two is active and we're just gonna now go forward bar by bar. Okay, trade uh, kind of not really going anywhere. We based for a little bit, now we're moving. I'm now gonna trail my stop loss to 113.51. Gonna keep, oh, and there we go. We would have gotten stopped out at 113.51. Triggered at 113.51. All right, so there are your parameters for that trade. You then click the flatten button and there we go. So I hope this was helpful in terms of understanding how this feature where this new functionality works in TradingView. It is a brand new feature pretty much, so they're still working on improving it, but it is quite useful in my opinion if you're looking to backtest a strategy or a particular setup. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate, get in touch, drop us a comment, send us an email, um, and let us know, you know if you find this feature helpful or not, or if there's any other functionality you would wanna see from TradingView. Um, also, you know, we can always get in touch with them and, and offer suggestions. Actually, you can also get in touch with TradingView and request uh, additional functionality too. You know, one of the reasons I love TradingView is because they do a really good job of listening to their customers over time. You know, and as the company has grown and, and their charts have gotten better and better, Sure, it takes a little bit more time to plug in new features, but they do get there eventually. All right, traders, that's it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.